Yo, 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 what's up guys, Dex here, hope you're having a wonderful day today. Now that we're starting off another new cycle in the Call of Duty franchise, I want to share with you some tips I think you're going to find useful if you're looking to stay alive longer, get higher score streaks, and raise your overall kill to death ratio. Utilizing some of these tips could really allow you to be more satisfied with your overall gameplay. I really think it'll help a lot of people out. There is a slight disclaimer with this. Some of you guys that are Call of Duty veterans or just general skilled players may already know some of these tips. You may do it subconsciously already, but I want to share this information with those that are genuinely looking to improve their game because there's a chance that they will end up being our teammate in a public lobby sometime. We may want them to have our back in the future, so we want to make sure we can get wins for the whole squad anytime. I've covered most of these topics in a past video, but with the new game dropping, it's time to revisit some of them and get everything up to date, especially in regards to things revolving around Call of Duty World War II. The majority of these tips are going to be for respawn game modes, but you can kind of take the foundation of some of these tips and tweak them slightly to apply them in different search and destroy scenarios as well. I'm going to work on helping you stay alive longer, which can help you pick up larger kill streaks, which can allow you to have an overall better kill to death ratio, which may be the reason why you're here in the first place, so let's jump into it. First off, let's start off with a setup that would give you the best chance to stay alive, stay off of the radar, and not be heard. You're only going to get so many features when setting up your class or division, so this may be something you have to adjust based on your personal preference or your play style. Even with all of these tips and strategies to improving your overall game, we all will still play the game somewhat differently, so we have to take different things that we're interested in using and kind of tie them all into what we can set up in our division. I think some of the most useful perks, and I'm going to use that word loosely because we don't have the more traditional perk system in World War II that we've seen in the past Call of Duty, but I think if you're able to utilize these features to have quieter character movement so that your opponents don't hear you moving around through their headphones is a major, major key. Another huge key to that is being invisible from the recon aircraft when people call in uh, this score streak, it's you know it's pretty much similar to the UAV and past Call of Duty games. If you can stay off their radar and they don't know where you are, that's a bonus perk that can help you stay alive and help you pick up kills in certain situations. The recon aircraft score streak is something that's fairly easy to attain, so by staying off the radar, you just give yourself a little bit more of a possibility to stay alive longer. Some other features I really feel are important to having a good class setup for this would be utilizing a perk that would allow you to resupply ammo or equipment from dead enemies. If you're working on staying alive longer, you want to make sure you aren't going to run out of ammo. That's huge. Obviously, you can still pick up other people's weapons from dead enemies, but not having to worry about what weapon they dropped, what attachments they might be running is definitely going to be key. I would rather, personally, be able to keep using my own gun with the attachments that I want, with the class setup that I want, and just be able to pick up ammo from people that I've killed and stuff like that and keep pushing forward and not having to worry about different weapons and adapting to them and all that jazz. As for moving around the map, there are strategies and methods that I use to move around the map when going for higher kill gameplays. You can slow down your movement and move a little more strategically around the map using various points of cover or even some head glitches if they're available. As you are moving around the map and using various points of cover and picking up these kills, you could possibly earn different score streaks that would allow you to maybe have a better understanding of where the other team may be. Remember to keep in mind your opponents may have their classes set up so they're staying off the radar as well, just like I mentioned to you previously. Using your radar is just a major key to having overall map awareness, but you don't want to use it as a crutch and die because you're constantly watching it either. Another extremely useful thing to take from the radar is the physical layout of the map. If you see a location you think looks like a common area for the enemy team to be flowing from, and it's a tighter, more enclosed location, that's what we call a choke point. Being aware of these choke points will allow you to basically position yourself around them to pick up kills there as they flow through that area, and possibly not to die there as well. Your map awareness can really be a key to all of this. Another great strategy or method that I use to move around the map is using the outer locations of the map. It's common to have a longer range of sight and have less people flowing at you from various angles. If you use the outside of the map to either be on your, no, your right or your left side, or you have it at your back, you can pretty much be guaranteed there won't be an enemy coming from that direction. Sometimes I use that strategy to pick up my first few kills, get a recon aircraft in the air, and then push more aggressively since I may have a better idea of where the enemy team may be located. You can also use that to keep a good eye on where your teammates are located as well and where you can push or move towards to potentially team fire an enemy or pick up a kill right after your teammate died to the enemy. In addition to strategically moving around the map and using the radar to the best of your ability, the next most important tip is to make sure you have an accurate shot and you finish your kills when shooting at them. 
you can make sure you have the most accurate shot possible by fine tuning your in-game sensitivity, which again is going to be personal player preference. You also want to make sure you have the correct weapon attachments that will allow you to have an accurate and effective shot when shooting at an enemy. If at any time you shoot at an enemy and you don't pick up a kill, a few things have to go through your mind. If they're running away, do not chase them unless you are absolutely positive that you can finish the kill. Oftentimes, if someone gets around a corner, they may turn around and wait for you to chase them and they have the upper hand waiting for you to come around that very set corner that they just went around. You also have to be aware that you may now be on the enemy team radar if you aren't using a suppressed weapon. They may know where you are and may be rotating towards you. Basically, if you're going to take a shot, you really want to make sure you or your teammate are going to be the one to finish it. The next thing on the list that I feel will help you stay alive longer and, and kind of help improve your map awareness and things going on around you is the use of a gaming headset. I think by now most people probably use them, but I'm sure there's still a few people out there that don't. If you guys are not using some sort of gaming headset that allows you to hear what's going on in the environment, to possibly hear footsteps, hear gunfire, you know, what directions they may be coming from, I think that's absolutely essential to just having overall map awareness around you to know what's going on, to know where you might need to turn, where these footsteps might be coming from, because if you hear that, if you know where something's coming from, and you know, in addition to using your radar or having that extra beat if they don't know where you're at that can allow you to pick up a kill or possibly to even just not die maybe escape a situation or something like that so I would definitely 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 recommend getting a gaming headset um, I know that's something you have to spend money on um, and it's a wide variety of prices so again that'll kind of vary on the the player and their preference of what headset they want to use but I would say probably in the ballpark of roughly at least a hundred bucks uh, for something that's pretty good quality but you know you might can find something out there for a little little cheaper than that but um, yeah definitely would recommend using a gaming headset as well one additional tip for those of you that are looking to stream or record gameplays to use for content creation, you definitely don't want to camp for kill streaks. Sure, you can use it to boost your KD ratio and it might look good in your combat record or whatever it may be called, but the quality of your stream or recorded gameplay is going to really drop off immensely. It probably won't be as entertaining to watch unless you have some really creative ways to kind of spice it up and kind of make it more interesting. You're probably just going to annoy others in the lobby that you're playing against or you're playing with, so you might kind of shoot yourself in the foot and you might not be able to retain those people that you're playing against or with as potential viewers or potential subscribers to your content. That tip may not necessarily apply to everyone, but I did want to throw it out there just in case because at this current time, everyone's hyped for a new Call of Duty, we're hyped for new content, we're hyped for a new game. There's a lot of people that are aspiring streamers and content creators out there, so I just want to throw that tip out there to help keep you guys moving and um, just honest with your content and, and your approach at trying to become a better entertainer. I really hope some of these tips and tricks will kind of help some of you guys, you know, take some of your gameplay to the next level. Just take some other things into consideration that you may not have, have thought about or may not have tried utilizing before. If, if something like this helps you out, any, any bitter piece of it, please let me know down in the comments. Please be sure to leave a like. I, that would mean so much to me. I'm super excited for all things Call of Duty World War II. There's going to be so much going on within the game. You guys have seen some of my videos that I've put out in the past, you know, especially from the beta and stuff like that. This gameplay here is actually from the beta. And I'm really excited for everything that's going to be going on in this game. The campaign looks great. The multiplayer looks great. The zombies trailer has, you know, it looks like a freaking movie. So I'm, I'm really excited for everything that's going to be going on with it. I do plan on playing on both consoles. I will probably be maining more on PlayStation, at least starting off with and moving towards the DLCs. So make sure you join my PlayStation group. Make sure you join my Xbox club. Feel free to add me on either one. I'll try to accept the people that I can. I look forward to playing with so many of you. I think it's going to be a super dope experience kind of you know getting to, to experience the playstation side of things a lot i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to getting the dlc as soon as it drops so uh thanks again to my buddy dj who helped me out with with getting a playstation 4 it's freaking incredible um such a nice gesture so anyways you guys if you made it this far on the stream be sure to put hashtag dex world war 2 hype the channel is going to be transitioning over to a lot of call of duty world war 2 stuff here moving forward now that the game is dropping and I'm so excited to basically begin another journey with you guys in Aircraft addition to everything else that's going on around us. So, again, thank you so much for checking out the video. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video here very, very soon. Have a wonderful, great day. I'll see you later. Peace.
Taking Abel! Enemy mortar fire incoming! Fall back! Azon bomb mission underway. Closing with Baker. Control all objectives. Hold the line. Enemy contact with Charlie. Firing battery one. 